Um, good morning, uh, I'm Vlade Grabinski and uh, I will talk about compact and sparse modeling uh, for and its support for, for uh, uh, KiCad and PDA tools. Uh, all previous speakers were referring to compact spar uh, and sparse modeling. Uh, last question by Javier was also about uh, Verilog A standardization for compact modeling. So th this is a quite important uh, part of uh, um, communication, information exchange between different tools. Uh, myself, I'm also coordinating Mosaic A group. This is a group which uh, mainly discuss compact uh, and spice modeling, model implementation, standardization, and uh, transistor level simulation. We are organizing uh, workshops uh, uh, to discuss uh, these topics. Uh, I, I will give you an uh, update on uh, our event we are planning for um, later this year. I will start with Moore's law, talking about microelectronics, uh, semiconductor devices. You, you cannot uh, open a, a presentation without uh, a short uh, a reference to Moore's law. Then I will go through uh, a simulation and modeling mm, flow to show you process and TCAT simulation, compact modeling, model standardization, model implementation. Uh, there is important part which we are not addressing uh, uh, today. It's parameter extraction and library generation to interact between model or technology models and analog simulation. And then there's reference to analog RF, mainly analog RF uh, simulators, referring to mm, both uh, uh, quarks and NG spice, giving uh, example uh, of uh, other tools. On each point, I would like to uh, arise or open question about interopar uh, interoperability, very low standardization, just to <coughs> smooth out the communication, information exchange between different tools. Uh, I guess all who are in microelectronics, semiconductor uh, devices, um, circuit simulation, they uh, already know this uh, plot. Uh, back in the uh, 60s, uh, Mr. Moore, uh, uh, make uh, uh, a conclusion that uh, density of uh, or number of transistors per chip uh, basically double every two, two years. Uh, uh, in fact, I, I don't like this observation because Mr. Moore and his partners at Intel, they use this law to uh, create Intel domination of uh, uh, IC manufacturing. But there is a positive element of Moore law. Uh, the very first integrated circuit was developed by uh, mm, Fairchild. Uh, uh, this is date about uh, my birthday, so do not estimate my age. <laughs> but then very quickly over the last uh, four, almost five decades, from few integrated transistor on one chip, we came to uh, circuits uh, which allow to build extremely cheap hardware. Uh, well, I'm referring to this because hardware is so cheap that we, we can have uh, basically any software running almost for free uh, on this type of devices. And uh, I guess uh, all the FOST uh, community benefits on this very cheap hardware developing their own tools. Today, we, in this, uh, I guess, uh, very first session of uh, CAT, uh, uh, TCAT tools uh, at FOSDEM, uh, I want to go through this chain. Uh, we as uh, uh, researchers or engineers, we, we cannot really uh, manufacture integrated circuits, but we, we can contribute to process and technology optimization using uh, TCAT tools. Uh, 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 Paolo was referring to Cogenda. It's very uh, sophisticated 2D, 3D uh, process and technology simulation tool. The uh, DevSim, also numerical modeling tools. There is a long list, uh, Paul, uh, Francesco was referring to, to other tools. Then this is input for compact modeling. You can develop outstanding uh, simulation tool, but without model, <coughs> it's just numerical solver. We, you need the models to simulate your circuits. We overview, oh, review NG spice quarks, but there are a couple of other simulation tools, and uh, I guess this list is quite long. For compact modeling, all both speakers were referring to SPICE, Verilog, simulation, uh, model generation. 
There are other tools which are supporting this. A uh, uh, lot of uh, mm, attention was paid to ADMS. I guess this is one of the only tool to support this uh, transition from technology to develop uh, compact models and then support simulation tools. Uh, more recent, uh, uh, but it's uh, like benchmarking platform, it's IMOS, was also mentioned here. MAP, it's new development uh, triggered by the NanoHub org uh, in US. Again, we are talking about models, but we need the parameters to run the simulation. This part is not covered here, but it's important and uh, we should uh, find a moment to discuss maybe on following uh, uh, mm, meetings, uh, workshops, or this type of conference. Process simulation. Again, uh, we cannot fabricate. It's quite complex, but we can support uh, uh, device development, technology optimization. This is an example of 3D simulation of SRAM cell using uh, uh, Cogenda Pika tool. It's a, it's a free uh, GPL uh, software. You can do quite complex, sophisticated simulation. DevSim is other example. This is a uh, 2D simulation of MOSFET uh, uh, device, and you can see the current flow and the uh, mobility distribution in this particle device. These two tools give you input for uh, compact modeling, to build your model. Uh, what is a compact model? Uh, so it's a, a representation of uh, semiconductor devices. Uh, it charges current and voltages. We trying to go from very complex numerical simulation to simple analytical representation to preserve also device physics. In terms of accuracy, PICAT tools, these two tools I already mentioned, there is, uh, of course, huge uh, development of commercial tools. Uh, they provide high accuracy, but they are very slow because you have to solve uh, to the uh, mm, grid uh, to calculate device charges, current, and voltages. Uh, compact models are much simpler because we are trying to develop a simple equation which gives you the of predict the behavior of your device. And it's an analytical couple of lines of code. It's much faster. Uh, speed up is uh, enormous. Then, of course, you cannot use compact models, analytical models for gate level uh, simulation because uh, simply CPU or a billion transistor, you, you cannot simulate a billion transistor of your CPU or, or memory cell. Uh, at, at this level, so you go to transistor level, but you need compact models to create, uh, uh, for example, timing libraries to run digital simulation. We, we are not covering this topic here, and uh, I guess both tools, Quarks and NGSpice, are not on this level, but they <coughs> allow behavior simulation of Verilog uh, digital blocks or VHD digital blocks. So we have uh, force tools also for uh, this level. It's huge circuit and very fast simulation. Now coming to uh, SPICE Verilog uh, uh, compact modeling and simulation. This uh, book on uh, analog behavior modeling with uh, the Verilog language, it's about, uh, I guess, 97. And already at that time, there was uh, first push for standardization. Uh, believe it or not, if you borrow this book from library, you will find floppy. I don't know if you remember what is floppy. And it's complete simulator, spy simulator with very log extension allows you basic uh, semiconductor device modeling with very log. Go to library, FET, you will be surprised. I don't know if you can run or read the files from floppy, but I did it and work. There was next attempt, uh, I guess it's about 2000 by guys from University Arkansas. They built, oh, it's already one minute. Uh, uh, other model generator. <coughs> this sa similar attempt was done by guys from Tiburon. They simplify, they create a compact uh, 
model libraries which talk to uh, a real time uh, interface of different tools. They simplify uh, model synthesis and communication with SPY. Uh, this tool was already referred, I will not repeat, but uh, at least in my opinion, it's the only open source tool supports uh, very low standardization. iPlatform was already referred, you, you can double check uh, references, and map tool still use MATLAB, but they are going to Octave, so this uh, development environment will be also based on free tools. Um, benefits, uh, I, I, I think I, I need uh, half a minute here. If we all agree and <coughs> accept Verilog A or Verilog AMS as a standard for compact model, this will be beneficial to all who are within this uh, uh, activity. So for model developers, for software vendors, or in fact, uh, for uh, development, NG Spice, Quarks, and other team, we, we can also interact with WaferFab and support uh, uh, designers, users of uh, our tools. Uh, uh, I, I will skip this. Uh, NG Spice and Quarks was presented. Uh, uh, Ike's from Sandia Lab also use very low standardization and they did their own modification to ADMS translator so we, we can exchange models. So having one model, this model go to all the tools. Uh, GNUCAP, we, we do not have presentation. I'm not a GNUCAP user, but it seems to be it's really nice concept, modular. Uh, Base of uh, basing on uh, different plugins, and there is a group of plugins also supporting ADMS compilation, device models, and they have their own generator which depends on Verilog. So Verilog is like communication mean. Uh, I'm almost at the end, so again to go through process simulation modeling to compact modeling, we need uh, interoperability. We need uh, common data exchange format to talk from process simulation to uh, support compact model development. We need very low standardization to enable uh, model implementation into simulation tools. Here we have a bunch of uh, simulation tools, uh, NG Spice, it has very fast transient simulation, but does not support uh, uh, harmonic balance, which is <laughs> excellent feature of quarks. So to communicate, we need again interoperability at netlist and schematic. This, these points were uh, addressed uh, in both presentation and I want to highlight. So we, we need a uh, lot of work on standardization to improve information exchange between all the simulation tools which we are using. Uh, this is a final slide you can read. There is series of uh, events where we discuss compact modeling, standardization on different occasions. Very first it's in Grenoble at date. You can visit mosaic.org to learn more. And we will continue this discussion because it's critical to uh, have a smooth interoperability a different level of force tools, in particular for uh, uh, integrated circuit simulation. Thank you very much. The question was about very log A standardization for schematic. Th this is very important question, but uh, we, we do not have a solution. Uh, there was discussion to use this type of high level behavioral languages to describe not only devices, but schematics or, or netlist. Uh, or 
uh, ng-spice use very, uh, I, I, I cannot, I don't want to say old, but standard spice input language, which is a little bit outdated. Uh, uh, Quax has its own. So there is open discussion also within industry to have a more flexible input uh, uh, formats uh, for netlist and schematics. And very likely, Verilog could be a solution. But Do yes, please. Again, uh, the comment was that GNUCAP uh, uh, reads netlist. Uh, uh, okay. I'm not uh, uh, GNUCAP user, but yes, uh, it's very uh, uh, mm, flexible tool. And Al, Al Davis does a lot of work in this uh, kind of standardization to simplify uh, information exchange also at the netlist. Thank you very much.